Hi, this is Elaine Fisher and I have just a miscellaneous sewing type blog here, or vlog, um, to use the right vernacular. Uh, I'm going to show you a little pouch that I made, some fabric that I bought at the thrift store, and some fabric that I have that I'm going to make into a skirt for my daughter-in-law for Comic-Con. So let's start with the pouch. We, uh, my husband and I are starting to use the envelope system of, um, of taking care of expenses. And one of the things that I was having a challenge with is I need to carry the grocery money with me and I need my spending money with me. And often I was having trouble trying to keep the two separate. So I went ahead and made a pouch for myself and I wanted to show it to you. Um, I used a video uh, from Crafty Gemini and I will try and um, link it below for the general idea of the pouch. I did make a few modifications um, so I will show you the pouch and discuss the modifications. We have one of those cars that start, you know, without, you don't have to put the key in. So I just went ahead and hooked that onto my wrist strap. Now, the pouch that the uh, Crafty Gemini did, did not include a wrist strap. But I like to um, just grab this out of my purse and put it on my wrist and go in shopping um, so that I don't lose it and I don't have to worry about if I walk away from my cart. So I went ahead and put the D-ring and the, um, the uh, wrist strap on. Okay, so here what I did was I have this cutest frog material and I, I did make one mistake, but this guy, I uh, raised the zipper a tad so that I could get his full body in. Um, and each one of the zippers is a different color. So this orange zipper is my spending money and I've got, this doesn't show the color really well, but it's more like an orange yellow. In fact, it looks pretty orange. Um, and so I, I remember that my zipper matches my lining and that's my spending money. Then I have this right here, and this is a yellow zipper, and again, colors just don't always come over, uh, through real well in the video. I still have the same lining, but that's my grocery money in there. And this pouch, having zippers like that, also can hold change. Now, one other thing this pouch will do is I have, I'm trying to, I brought my phone, don't know where I put it, but anyway, I'll just explain it to you. I, uh, and I got a bunch of these really big zippers from the thrift store. Um, so I use that for the top. And in here I can actually fit my cell phone. And then I have this little pouch that I did with my embroidery machine years ago. And it holds my, um, my uh, discount cards and my debit cards and my insurance cards and all that I keep in here and that way they don't fly out when I'm putting my um, phone in or out and we have like an entertainment budget so if I if I bring any other miscellaneous budget with me I will just put it the envelope in the middle here so it keeps it all separate so this has been working really well for me I will tell you the the one thing the machine I used, uh, I still have quite a bit of fatigue from um, the chemo, and I have a little Janome that I carry with me, like if I'm going somewhere to sew, and I actually had that in the living room and have used that to sew like chemo scarves and things for others. Um, but I used that machine to sew this pouch, and it definitely struggled. You'll see how I put this... Uh, the, the D-ring um, loop on, I had to make sure that each side was separate uh, because 
my machine just wouldn't go through it. So I would suggest next time, and in fact, I'm going to have to do a repair because um, I sewed across here and the stitches have come out. Uh, so I will have to finish that on, on one of my vintage machines that um, can handle it. I, I even tried a, like a, a size 16 needle. Didn't work. I didn't have an 18 needle handy, but I, I don't think it would have mattered with this machine. Um, and generally, honestly, I don't. I try not to sew things um, this thick on a newer computerized machine because generally they can't handle it, and I don't want to ruin my machines because um, this has all the. Well, it doesn't have all the bells and whistles, but it has a speed control. You know, it has needle up and down and all that. It doesn't have uh, the one thing it doesn't have that I sort of miss is the cutting thing where it'll cut your threads for you. I have that on my bigger machine out in the shed. Um, the other thing that I have a little challenge with is I have a she shed that has gotten in terrible disarray. And um, when I get enough energy, I'm going to go in and clean that out. And that's where uh, the vintage machine that I usually use lives in that she shed. So um, anyway, I just thought I'd show this to you. Oh, one other thing that I did differently, and I probably would consider doing it the way uh, Crafty Gemini did, but she put a couple of these um, tabs on the end of the zippers uh, before sewing it in here. And she also, um, I made this two inches uh, height wise less than she did. She did eight and a half by eight. I did eight and a half by six because I did not want it to be that big for a wristlet. Um, the other thing I would mention is my phone fits in here, but it, I would suggest measuring your phone and seeing if you need to make it a little wider. Uh, my phone just fits. Um, I, I actually wasn't making it for the phone, but when it was done, I was like, wow, will my phone fit too? And then I to just bring everything because normally I'd like shove my phone in my pocket if I had one um, uh, some I wear jeans a lot so I usually do but it was not much nicer to have it in here so that's number one second I wanted to just share with you some fabrics I got at the local thrift store uh, these came from two different thrift stores this time um, one of the thrift stores I went to had uh, half price sale on their fabric. So this little Winnie the Pooh fabric here, which is just adorable. And we do a lot of pillowcases for um, people who are, are sick. So I'm thinking this will make wonderful pillowcases for youngsters who are sick. Uh, but it's got a lot of different Winnie the Pooh scenes and uh, it was 37 cents. I mean, you know, you got to do it, right? The other thing I got at that thrift store, again, thinking of pillowcases, um, this one is going to take a little bit different measurement, though, because it's a very wide fabric, very wide. Um, I'm guessing, I'm guessing 108. But again, I think this one costs 50 cents, and I think it'll make at least two, if not three, pillowcases. Um, and I think it'll be just gorgeous. Uh, so I think, you know, uh, any woman who is not doing well and needs a pillowcase that's been prayed over for them, um, this would, would help. And in fact, I have my own pillowcase. Uh, they, the, one of the ladies in the group uh, embroiders the recipient's name on the pillowcase, which is really, really nice. And then they give them um, a Kleenex holder, which for me was just wonderful because since chemo, I have had a, a horrible runny nose. And I don't know if I've done it on this video, but you will probably see me do uh, what my husband and I call buddy nose, but I have a nose twitch. Um, and I went to the doctor and she saw me do it and she asked me if I, if I knew I had a twitch <laughs> and I, she said mouth twitch, but we considered a nose twitch and I, I was like, well, yeah, um, I do. 
uh, I've always had it, but I said during chemo it got really bad. Well, she informed me that Compazine can take something like that and make it worse. So um, I apologize if I do the, it could be a bewitched, a uh, I dream of genie or a bunny, whatever you, it, my nose twitches and my, and it is true, my lips twitch too, so. Now, this fabric I got at my normal Faith, Hope, and Charity. I looked at it and I'm like, well, the fabric is okay. Not, not anything uh, that I probably would buy off the bolt. But I'm thinking for pajama pants for my husband. This was four and a half yards of some really nice flannel for $1.80. So, you know, what can you say? You got to do that. So hubby's going to get some pajama pants. He did say that they have to have a drawstring. So this will be the first time I've made him anything. He's he's kind of funny about homemade things. Even though they look handmade, you know, um, he likes store-bought clothes. But I think he'll be okay with the pajamas. And then finally, the last sewing thing I wanted to show you was um, the fabric that Kate picked out for her Comic-Con skirt. But isn't that adorable? Oh, won't that work really, really well at Comic-Con? So she picked out a McCall's pattern that's still out in my shed, but I'll try to remember to show you the skirt before I send it to her. It's just a basic long skirt um, that is made out of, out of Jersey, because this is this is stretchable um, so it needed to be a pattern that um, would do well with stretch so uh, the McCall's pattern that we've got is something that will do well with stretch so that's it today for sewing stuff um, I plan on in the future making a video of my touch and sew that I bought um, right before I was diagnosed with chemo so I haven't had a lot of time to play with it but I'll show you how I wind the bobbin and thread it and how it all works and uh, I did my before I went in for treatment my 10 year old granddaughter she's 11 now but she was 10 then sewed herself a bag using the touch and sew and she did she did great the bag looks wonderful and in fact we have picked out a pattern for a dress that she is so excited to come back she's in camp this week but she wants to come back sometime and make the dress herself so that should be a lot of fun she's very very excited she would love to have a dress that she could tell everybody she made she's very particular so i'm hoping that it'll turn out really well i may need to um have her do some seam ripping if things don't go quite as they should because i know if it's not perfect she won't wear it but anyway that's um where i'm at with sewing stuff right now uh let me know below what kind of things you do for your sewing where you get your fabric and um someday i'll show you even how i keep my fabric uh stash i have one whole big shelf of fabric uh obviously when i get things for this price i just have to buy it my husband doesn't understand but you can't say no and we don't have any fabric stores close to us uh the closest fabric store is probably and i could go to one an hour away um but usually go to the one an hour and a half away that there's more than one fabric store in the area if we go and being on a tight budget and having a lot of hospital bills to pay uh, the thrift store is the way for me to get my fabric but share share with me how you save money with your sewing and I'd appreciate that uh, again if you leave a comment be kind always both to myself or to anybody else that you leave a comment to on the internet you guys have a great day and be blessed. Bye.